hey, this would be a video chart on AVTI. Uh, very interesting chart shaping up here. Um, it's made its move kind of already, or I should say it's made its initial move, and now it's just more of a question of is there going to be any sort of follow through. Uh, what you'll see a lot in penny stocks is they make an initial move like this, and then the ones that are truly strong uh, will, will pull back, have a little consolidation, and then make a much bigger move upwards. Uh, right now, like I said, we've got that first move under our belts, uh, but now it's a question of, you know, does this move have any true strength behind it? And the great thing about charts is it makes that question very easy to answer, and that's what this video will, will uh, revolve around, mainly just by mapping out the support levels, and then we'll get up some resistances too. So uh, if there is another push forward, you know, people have an idea of what uh, the levels are where kind of the battlegrounds are going to be uh, lying ahead. So like I'd mentioned, the, this big move came on the uh, volume day here, and besides just the price being you know very bullish, uh, the other reason I call it a big move is it uh, got above two of its uh, very important uh, moving averages, the first being this orange line here, which is the 200-day, and the other one being this purple line here, which is the 50-day. Uh, within the world of technical analysis, these two are pretty much on everybody's uh, charts, whether they're a chartist or a trader or whatever. Uh, people are watching and monitoring uh, what these do, and you can see that the price uh, got above both. And then yesterday, actually, great example of a resistance becoming a support. Price closed above it. It got back tested right here. You can see there was a low. Uh, did a good job of holding up as support, and then propelled the price up uh, much further. Today obviously was um, you know a red day and we can just chalk this one up to some consolidation. It held up above the support level that I would personally like to see it hold. Uh, so let's just kind of start there. Uh, the ideal level, meaning it doesn't necessarily have to hold there, but if the chart's going to look its absolute best in my opinion, uh, the level that's going to need to hold up strong is going to be the triple zero eight area. Now where am I getting this from? Well if we look back through the history of the chart, you can see that there are multiple times where the price tried to get through it and it just couldn't quite do it so back here in August and September uh, this triple zero eight was just a real big pain in the neck in terms of the price trying to get above it uh, and it did a great job of acting as resistance and then you can see that it's kinda like just a massive explosion when the bulls were finally able to push through it right here you know the, the results uh, were pretty evident and very bullish and now even today you can see that the price uh, on the pullback, pulled back, and bounced right off of this triple zero eight. So that is the first level of support that I'm watching and would ideally like to see hold strong. Now, the reason I said it doesn't have to hold is because we still do have uh, the two big boys down here, the 50-day and 200-day acting as supports. Uh, but the must hold level would be this 200-day. Uh, if this uh, level can't hold, which is pretty much triple zero four, then this move, you know, you might as well just put a big red X through it because it was all fake, it wasn't, it wasn't real, and there was no true strength behind it. Now so far so good, like I said, it's it pulled back and bounced just like you would want to see it off this triple zero eight. But like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, the easy way to figure out if this is a true move, just watch this 200 day. If the price were to come down here, and if this is a truly strong move, then people should be all about getting shares down here because this would be a truly uh, good bargain price. Uh, but if it were to come down here and then she just keep falling, that just shows that nobody was really that interested and you know this move was just kind of a, a, a couple day wonder. Now on the flip side of the coin, the areas of resistance, the main one right now is just going to be up here uh, where the bulls, or excuse me, the bear stepped in last time and decided to start to lock in profits, which is up here at um, 0.0015. And then after that one, uh, really it's uh, no resistances until up over the 0.002 so if the price can get above here you know once again I could see it making a nice move like it did back here breaking through that triple zero eight overall like I said the charts still looking good right now it's just a matter of uh, measuring and seeing whether or not there's any sort of uh, genuine strength behind the current uh, upwards move and so far so good with it triple zero eight being able to hold strong so if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart set up, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from penny stocks up to big boards. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. It is all free. Uh, we've been making some good money together on the alerts. So I'd encourage you to head to the website, uh, sign up, and give it a try. One more time, this was AVTI. Thanks for listening.